I wanted to find out what Good Friday was all about. So I looked at the dictionary, the Episcopal dictionary, and this is what it says. The Friday before Easter Day on which the church commemorates the crucifixion of Jesus. It is a day of fasting and special acts of discipline and self-denial. In the early church, candidates for baptism joined by others fasted for a day or two before the Paschal Feast. In the West, the first of those days eventually acquired the character of historical reenactment of the passion and death of Christ. The liturgy of the day includes John's account of the Passion Gospel, a solemn form of intercession known as the Solemn Collects, dating from ancient Rome, and optional devotions before the cross, commonly known as the Veneration of the Cross. The Eucharist is not celebrated in the Episcopal Church on Good Friday, but Holy Communion may be administered from the Reserve Sacrament at the Good Friday service. Well, I guess that's all you need to know about Good Friday. <laughs> now, I'm obviously being facetious. We just heard the, the passion. There's a crown of thorns up here. Good Friday. There's a cross in there. Similar to the one that Jesus was nailed to. He was flogged. And in those days, it did me with a switch. Some terrible things happened to Jesus on that day. And we've heard the, the passion over and over and over again. And it's mentioned in the uh, portion I copied out of the Episcopal Dictionary. It's not enough. It's my opinion, you know. I have opinions. Anybody who knows me knows that. I have opinions. My opinion is that as much as we can, we need to try to see that day as hard as it is. We need to see that day in our mind's eye. So we truly know and remember how Jesus suffered that day. I'm not necessarily good at these things, but I gave it a shot because of Good Friday. I wouldn't have been thinking about it anyway. Trust me, this is Holy Week. You're thinking about all the stuff all the time. And it's one of the benefits of being clergy. And I will say honestly that, that studying Good Friday and saying the Passion twice in a, in a week, <laughs> I'm going to do it differently next year because it's really hard to do. It's hard to do because I can't read it without feeling it. And I have to stop feeling it to finish reading it. Should it be that hard? Yeah, I think it should be that hard. We know Christ is going to Rise. We know that. We're going to celebrate the Sunday. 
And there are people in this world who don't know about Jesus. I know that's hard to imagine, but there are. And the ones who know about Jesus know about the passion. They know how he suffered. When you go out of here tonight, I don't want you to be preoccupied with the morbidity of it. <clears throat> I want you to be preoccupied with the love of Jesus Christ. The whole human being suffered because he loved us, because his Father loves us, because the Holy Spirit loves us. That's what I want you to remember when you leave here tonight. Amen. Amen.